Hello everyone. Today we wanted to bring you our top five animals from the show that are not ball pythons. This is a different category for us. One that we've thought about doing since the first time we ever did a top five video for animals at a show. So I hope you like this video and let us know what you think. Do you want to see more content like this occasionally? Because I like all kinds of reptiles. I don't just do ball pythons. Again, just like with any of our top fives, these are my opinions. At number five from Chicago Reptile House would be Big Sam because Big Sam, that's all we've got to say. He's at every NARBC show and he's the star. He decides what goes on. He runs the show. This is Big Sam. In all seriousness, this animal is an absolute unit. Pixie frogs are anything but the mythological pixies that their name seems to imply. They are absolutely mammoth frogs. This is the kind of animal that if you put another animal in there, I believe, maybe even another frog, that you might only end up with one frog. They eat everything. When I was a little kid, I started out by catching frogs in the late 80s and 90s. I really loved and appreciated these animals. It started with frogs and turtles for me. That is how my journey began. This is the alpha male of frogs. And what I said earlier, even though I was joking, wasn't joking. At number four would be Big Sam. <laughs> <laughs> At number four from Bigger Better Reptiles would be these hybrid blood ball pythons. So I kind of cheated. They are half ball pythons, but they're not full ball pythons. Now, before I get any further, I understand there's controversy around hybrids. If you can learn the care for the animal that you've created and it doesn't create a massive amount of genetic issues being in it that you have a high death rate or something like that. I personally don't see the issue, even though it's not for me in the wild wild, sometimes creatures do create hybrids, but moving on from the controversy, they are really cool. They look like ball pythons from the first glance, but then you start to look at them and see something's different. You notice how they shimmer a little bit differently. I think that's from the blood python. They seem to be glowing, literally. Now I understand they're under a light, but my ball pythons don't do that. They kind of look like they just came out of the egg, like they haven't had their first shed. It looks like that kind of skin on them. Now there's various genes here. I believe that you've got some banana black pastel in here. They did explain to us what genes were what, but they're really unique. Their face for the most part just really looks like a ball python. I can't differentiate for the most part from the very first glance anyways. Their eyes seem to be a little bit bigger. Perhaps their snout is a little bit more wide and then their patterns obviously. Their patterns are way different but they are really cool and they're really unique animals. At number three from Custom Scales would be this albino blue tongue skink. I love blue tongue skinks. They are not difficult animals to care for. They're very easy to feed. I believe that this one you can feed like ground turkey. They can eat a lot of different things. They're very relaxed animals, much like bearded dragons, and they're really easy to hold and care for. And this one takes the cake. It is a pinkish type hue with a lot of whites and those nice bright red eyes. And I want to point out something. They're called blue tongue skinks because their tongues are blue but this one's tongue is pink and there is a such thing as a pink tongued skink i believe they're much smaller versions of these and they also make wonderful pets but they have pink tongues blue tongue skinks are supposed to have blue tongues and the albinism in him literally affects his tongue if you're enjoying the video please consider liking and subscribing it really does help our channel out and helps us bring you more content like this at number two from Kicks Balls would be this giant Mata Mata turtle. I just really like turtles, as I said earlier. I think this one takes the cake. It has a snapping turtle type back, which is a really impressive prehistoric look to a turtle, but its face is just so unique. It has a really long, crazy neck, and its head is just so flat. What comes to my mind when I think of this turtle, if you are a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan, this would be Master Splinter if he was the turtle and the four brothers were rats instead. This is what Splinter would be. It just has that old man type face to it. I really like animals with goofy weird heads and faces anyways like the hog nose snake. I just had to give this one a really high spot on this list because again I'm really partial to turtles. 
Real quick, before we go on to our top pick, I wanted to call out as an honorable mention, these Northern White Lipped Pythons from TJW Exotics. These are so cool. Just their whole facial pattern, the contrast with the very dark head and their much tanner, lighter body, which is still dark in and of itself, but it's much lighter than their head. But they do have an iridescence to them. Just in general, their facial pattern, the contrast with the really dark head, the white lips and chin really, and the more dark tannish body. It's a lot of contrast on this animal and it's all really good and really amazing. And at number one would be a snake that I absolutely love. Also from Kicks Balls would be the giant sunbeam snake. Sunbeam snakes are absolutely beautiful, but you don't hear about them a lot. Most reptiles don't do good with stress, but the sunbeam snake is the absolute pinnacle example of a animal or reptile that does not do good with stress. This animal spends almost its entire life burrowed, and it's such a shame because look at the iridescence. It is a rainbow snake. Snake. When light hits it, you see the colors of the rainbow. It is stunning, but it hides most of the time. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a good picture of it here. You can actually see great pictures on Clint's reptiles. He actually does a very compressive dive. And if you want one of these snakes, I highly recommend you watch his video first because I don't think it's the right snake for you. These are very stressed out animals. I don't know if I've said that enough. This animal, if you get it, will probably die on you. It's a sad truth, but its beauty is just so phenomenal and it's so sad that it hides itself. Its shimmer and shine is so beautiful and to finally see one in person was a real treat. Now to the credit of the woman who was showing us this animal, she said we could not take it out and said why. She said that these do not do good with stress. Unless we were going to take this home, she was not comfortable with us taking it out. And I completely respect that because that's the right thing to do. But you can see in this video right here, through a container which had a lot of humidity on it, you can still see see the rainbow shimmering shine of this animal. And that's why it is our number one, despite us not even getting a really good look at it outside of its container. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more videos like this from time to time, please let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing and checking out our video on our top five picks of ball pythons from the NARBC Schomburg show and the complete walkthrough of the entire show right here and here.